let us study resolving power of optical instruments. Consider a parallel beam of light falling on a convex lens. If the lens is well corrected for aberrations, then geometrical optics tells us that the beam will get focused to a point. However, because of diffraction, the beam instead of getting focused to a point gets focused to a spot of finite area. It is due to the similar phenomena that occurs in a single slit experiment that is diffraction. The pattern obtained after the beam passes through the lens will be like the diffraction pattern. The focal plane consists of a central bright region surrounded by concentric dark and bright fringes where 2A is the diameter of the lens. F is the focal length of the lens and R0 is the radius of central bright fringe. A detailed experimental analysis shows that the radius of the central bright region is approximately given by R0 equals to 1.22 lambda F by 2A where F is the focal length of the lens, 2A is the diameter of the lens and lambda is the wavelength of light. This implies R0 equals 0.61 lambda F by A. If lambda is approximately equal to 0.5 micrometers, F is approximately equal to 20 centimeters and A is approximately equal to 5 centimeters, then R0 equals 1.2 micrometers. Although the size of the spot is very small, it plays an important role in determining the limit of resolution of optical instruments like telescope or a microscope. Suppose we have to look a system of two stars very close to each other in the sky. Resolving power for telescope is defined as the ability of a telescope to see really small details so that objects that are close together in the sky are easily seen as separated. For example, a system of two stars very close to each other. We can now say that the two stars are resolved now. Let delta theta be the angle of separation between the two stars. Then f into delta theta is approximately equal to 0.61 lambda f by a. This implies delta theta is approximately equal to 0.61 lambda by a. Smaller delta theta implies that the telescope is efficient to see objects that are very close to each other easily. From the equation, delta theta is approximately equal to 0.61 lambda by a. We can say that delta theta will be small if the diameter of the objective lens 2a is large. This implies that the telescope will have better resolving power if A is large. Let us see the animation. If the objective lens is of the diameter 2A, then the telescope is better than the objective lens of the diameter A because the two stars can be seen clearly and more distinctly in the case when the diameter is 2A. We can apply a similar argument to the objective lens of a microscope. In this case, the object is placed slightly beyond f so that the real image is formed at a distance mu and not at infinity. The magnification ratio of image size to object size is given by m is approximately equal to v by f. From triangle POL, 10 beta is equal to OL by PO. This implies 10 beta is approximately equal to D by 2F. This implies D by F is approximately equal to 2 tan beta, where 2 beta is the angle subtended by the diameter of the objective lens at the focus of the microscope. When the separation between 
two points in a microscopic specimen is comparable to the wavelength lambda of the light, the diffraction effects become important. The image of a point object will again be a diffraction pattern whose size in the image plane will be V theta is equal to V into capital D divided by 1.22 lambda. Two objects whose images are closer than this distance will not be resolved. They will be seen as one. The corresponding minimum separation d minimum in the object plane is given by d is equal to v into 1.22 lambda by capital D divided by m which equals 1.22 lambda divided by capital D into v by m which equals 1.22 f lambda by capital D. d minimum is equal to 1.22 f lambda by capital D. Now combining the above equations with d by f is equal to 210 beta, we have d minimum is equal to 1.22 f lambda by 2 beta. d minimum equals 1.22 lambda by 210 beta. When angle is very small, 10 beta tends to sine beta. This implies d minimum equals 1.22 lambda by 2 sin beta. If the medium between the object and the objective lens is not air but a medium of refractive index n, then the equation becomes 1.22 lambda by 2 sin beta gets modified to d minimum is equal to 1.22 lambda by 2 n sin beta. The product n sin beta is called the numerical aperture and is sometimes marked on the objective. The resolving power of microscope is defined as the reciprocal of the minimum separation of two points seen as distinct. You may be confused between resolution and magnification and similarly between the role of a telescope and a microscope to deal with these parameters. A telescope produces image of far objects nearer to our eye. Therefore, objects which are not resolved at far distance can be resolved by looking at them through the telescope. Whereas, a microscope on the other hand magnifies objects and produces their larger image. So, in this text, it is good to remember that a telescope resolves clearly whereas a microscope magnifies largely.